Now, you're telling me that Democrats, full well knowing that they could exploit this if it was false and make him even look more vulnerable, that they wouldn't have sued six ways to Sunday over this? I mean, at the very least, deny it. Hell, they can't deny it. The only thing they can bitch about is the timing. Okay, that's not our fault that your crackhead son did this. Oh my gosh, and I have to tell you this. My favorite thing right now, it is, I, I love it almost as, I, as much as I love candy corn in October. My favorite thing right now are all of these Marxists that are like, wait a minute, why are you being so mean to Hunter? But why? Why are you being so mean to Hunter? So he did, he smoked some crack. And? I mean, who among us? Um, me? <laughs> like all of us in this room and probably the majority of everyone listening. I don't know. I'm going to leave some exceptions. I don't know. Crack. It's... <laughs> But that's not the point, though. That's not the point. The point is that, of course, he left his laptop at a repair shop. Of course, he apparently left a bunch of very compromising things on this laptop. Crackheads are not known for their high levels of responsibility. Right? They think so. Would you leave your pet with Hunter Biden? No, no. no. He would probably try to smoke it. Somehow, nobody would. My point is this, is that this 50-year-old crackhead, everyone's like, don't, don't be so hard on him. Uh, he's the one, it's not us who did anything. This was the guy who was completely fine, him and his dad, to go around and peddle his dad's influence for millions upon millions of dollars. No, you don't get to come in the 11th hour once you've been caught and then act like, wait a minute, you can't criticize me because suddenly I'm going to hold up my addiction as a weakness when previously I reveled in it. And for grace to happen, and I know that because I wrote a book on it, for grace to take place, you kind of have to admit wrongdoing. That's kind of a thing. That's not my rule. That's the Lord's. So don't get mad at me. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to be like, oh, I messed up here. This was wrong. Okay, this is not like a one lot. This is not a lopsided situation here, okay? You can't sit here and demand that people just immediately forego this kind of stuff and live and let live, but yet you admit no account. there's no accountability on your end. So no, no one is surprised that a 50-plus-year-old crackhead got his dad's campaign in trouble because he was too busy taking selfies in the bathtub and living it up like a party boy. Nobody's surprised. This is not anybody's fault, but the Bidens' fault. And for him to make himself and his family look like, oh, we're just so put upon. You, were, you are literally made of swamp. 